Hey everybody, Johnny Stewart here, and today I'm going to show you two different ways to play a D chord on the guitar. The first way I'm going to show you to play a D chord is pretty standard, and this is the way that I think most people probably learn when they're starting to play the guitar. But we're going to use these three fingers, and we're going to take our index finger, and we're going to put it on our G string at the second fret. Then we'll take our middle finger, and we're going to put it on the E string, the high E string at the second fret. Then we'll take our ring finger, and we're going to put it in between those two strings on the B string at the third fret. And we're only going to play the top four strings. So that's, you know, our E string, our B string, our G string, and then our D string. And that'll be the chord. Okay, so now I want to show you another way to play that same chord using only these two fingers instead of all three. And so for this, we're going to start by taking our index finger and going to the second fret, and we're going to put that across our top three strings, and we're going to make a short bar. And for more tips on how to make bar chords, you can watch my videos on that, because I've made a few videos on that with different tips and tricks to help make bar chords easier. But we'll make this short bar across just our top three strings, and then we'll take our middle finger, and we're going to put that on the third fret of our B string. And so you'll notice that sounds the same, and it's the same exact chord voicing as the first way. So why would you want to use this shape instead of this? So there are a couple different times when I might want to use this two-finger chord shape instead of that full three-finger chord shape. For instance, let's say we're going to play something sort of bluesy or you know, a little bit of a, like a country folk sort of a thing in the key of D. We can certainly do it, do it this way, but what if we want to have a moving line in there instead of just... Alright, so that's one reason why. But the time when I'm much more likely to use it is when I'm playing lead. For instance, if I want to do something like this... Instead of using a traditional D chord shape, where you've got to basically change your, your entire wrist position, you make this chord shape with just these two fingers. Your wrist is already in that same position, tight into the neck, which you'll, you'll use for this shape. See, and I'll show you what I mean. And I'll show you from a couple different angles, so you can see what I'm doing. Instead of, like this. See the difference? You're just staying right in tight to the neck that way, rather than moving your entire wrist and doing a totally different chord shape, which is much more tedious and which makes it hard to play fast. And most of the time when you're playing lead, you probably want to play as fast as you can. Okay, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful and you learned something. If you did enjoy it, then please like it on YouTube and you can subscribe to my channel for more guitar tips and also let me know in the comments what else you would like to see next time about the guitar. Take care.